Hannah asks, what causes my panic attacks and how can I make them stop? I wouldn't wish them on my worst enemy. Hi, I'm Michael Norman and welcome to another episode of Panic Free TV Q&A. This is where as a scientist and anxiety specialist, I answer your most pressing questions relating to panic attacks so that we can help you finally get back to a normal panic free life again. Now Hannah's question is a very important question because while panic attacks are one of the most terrifying experiences anyone could ever go through, what can make them even scarier is not knowing what's causing them, why we're getting them, or what we need to do to make them stop. That's why in this episode, I'm gonna share with you a simple counterintuitive insight, one that I've never seen talked about before outside scientific circles, that explains the ultimate cause of panic attacks. This insight is essential for you to know about because it gives us an accurate foundation from which we can help you finally end your panic attacks for good. Now, before we get to this insight though, I wanna be clear. There are several ways I could answer Hannah's question. I could explain the various types of life experiences that often precede the first panic attack. I could explain the hidden universal triggers that cause every out of the blue panic attack. I could explain why certain situations or places might give you panic attacks while others don't. Or I could explain the biology behind panic attacks and how anxiety alone can cause all of the physical sensations and experiences that a panic attack can create. Each of these are important topics where a little understanding can bring a lot of reassurance and comfort all by itself. Since I can't cover everything in this short video though, and since I've comprehensively covered so much of this already inside my free Panic Free TV Foundation series, if you want the full answers right now, then please watch that series. All you need to do is click on the link on the screen or the description below, register your details, and you can get immediate access. Again, it's all completely free, and I think you'll agree after you've started watching it that it makes a very real, very important difference in your life. So what's the ultimate cause of panic attacks? Well, to explain it, I'm gonna share with you a short clip from my free Panic Free TV Foundation series. It's just a few minutes long, and after you finish watching it, I'll come back and add a few more essential insights because I really wanna make sure that you understand this fully. The most scientifically backed explanation for why so many of us have had panic attacks is what Professor Randolph Nessie from Arizona State University has called the smoke detector principle. And the best way to explain it is for us to do a quick, simple thought experiment. Which of these two smoke alarms would you prefer to have protecting you in your home? Would you prefer to have a smoke alarm that sometimes fails to go off and stays silent, even though there's a deadly fire in your house? Or would you prefer to have a smoke alarm that never misses a real fire, but occasionally goes off when you burn the toast, even though there is no danger and everything is actually fine? Now, of course, we'd all prefer to have a perfect smoke alarm system that never makes any mistakes. But the reality is we live in a complex and often ambiguous world. And so if you had to choose between one of these two options, which would you choose? An undersensitive smoke alarm that could miss a real fire and kill you? Or an oversensitive smoke alarm that occasionally has unpleasant, noisy, false alarms, but never misses a real fire and always keeps you safe? It's a simple answer, isn't it? When it comes to our survival, when it comes to our life, it's better to have a smoke alarm that errs on the side of safety, even if that means we sometimes get false alarms. So what does this have to do with panic? Well, panic attacks are nothing more than false alarms of our overprotective, life-saving fear systems. And while it probably hasn't felt that way for you in the past, the truth is, is that a panic attack is just a terrifying, overwhelming, overprotective mistake. It's a mistake that ironically is motivated by your brain's number one priority in life, to keep you safe. Panic attacks are brain and body following the same better safe than sorry philosophy that every good smoke detector system uses. And it's far healthier. In fact, it's optimal in an often uncertain world to have a fear system that's biased to be oversensitive and occasionally give us false alarms than it is to have an undersensitive system that could miss real danger that could kill us. So a panic attack is just an overprotective mistake. The only real problem, and it's a big one, is that it's a terrifying mistake. It's a mistake that can leave us feeling exposed, vulnerable, and unsafe. Even though no one dies from a panic attack, and even though panic could never ever make anyone truly go crazy, the false alarm of a panic attack often creates a very powerful illusion that these things could happen. And that's why I really believe that you are so the ultimate cause of panic attacks is that we all have brains that are biased 
to take a better safe than sorry approach. This is a very important healthy bias to have because if we didn't all have this bias, we literally wouldn't be alive as a species. The downside though, is that again, just like with every good smoke detector system, sometimes mistakes happen and we get false alarms. And while it might still be a little bit hard to believe right now, again, a panic attack is just an innocent, very well intended, overprotective mistake. It's a mistaken effort to protect you from a danger that's not there. So why do some people get panic false alarms while others don't? And why have you experienced so many false alarms? Well, this is where other factors come into play. And I cover these factors and a lot more inside my free Panic Free TV Foundation series. In this series, I help take away the mystery and confusion surrounding what you've been going through. I explain how panic and anxiety really work. And I give you the foundations you need to start you on your journey back to a normal panic-free life. Again, my Foundation series is totally free and you can watch the first episode in full right now just by clicking the link on the screen or in the description below and registering your details. I hope this video has been valuable to you. I'm Michael Norman and thank you so much for watching.